Hey there, welcome to day four of our Get Up and Go Challenge, February 2021. Sharon Horn here. And of course, we're going to talk about dreaming big. I know it's backwards, but I have an Android phone that I record on. So everything I show, everything you see in my background is always going to be backwards because Android doesn't have a way for us to flip our our, our background around or our screen around so that the words appear forwards like iPhones do. I believe iPhones you can do that on and iProducts you can, but I'm not a an Apple iProduct person, so we deal with my foibles of technology and we move on. Today we are going to talk about what do you want? What do you want and no limits on what you want. Everything we want, whether it's fame, fortune, freedom, friendship, which actually those four words cover all the areas and aspects of our life, if we think about it. Whatever we want in any area of our life, we absolutely positively have the ability to create and achieve and make part of our life. We have infinite possibilities. So often we get into this trap where we think that it's either A, B, or maybe A, B, and C if we're really giving ourselves a lot of options. But the truth is the solution to any challenge we face, any change that comes our way, is always many fold and, and many possibilities, not just black, white, one or two, or you know, it's this way or the highway. Those are called false dilemmas. Whenever we think we only have a limited number of options in a situation, it's called a false dilemma. And maybe as we go through the challenge, I'll talk a little bit about false dilemmas. I didn't really even know what they were until I was researching one of my daily idioms for my Supersize Your Business group. And it, the topic came up because the, the idiom was actually a false dilemma. And so it's presented in a way that makes it seem like you really only have one choice, but we always have more than one option of what we can do in any given situation. So today our tool is infinite possibility, no limit thinking dreaming big, imagining that anything is possible. It's all kinds of questions that people pose like, if you won the lottery, what would you do? If you did, you know, if you came into a, a multi-million dollar inheritance, what would you do? And they always seem to have something to do with money. Why? Because we're so driven by abundance and lack in our society these days. So our challenge today is super easy, super uh, simple, because we've all been thinking about these things our entire life is, what do you want? So we're going to think and brainstorm at least a list of, I, I say a hundred things that you want, but if you don't have time to go about your day and, and create a list of a hundred things, just create a list of at least 10 things that you want. If there was no limit to what you could have, what would 10 things be that you want? You know, the sky's the limit. The sky isn't even the limit. There's infinite possibilities. Infinite Infinite means there's no end to the number of possibilities. So our action item today is going to be just share three things that you want in the comments below. They can be three things. They could be, I want a new car. I want um, to have more energy. I want to uh, create a new business. Whatever it is for you. Uh, maybe it's a project. Maybe you want to write a book. Whatever it is. What do you really want? And, and no telling yourself, I don't deserve it, I can't have it, that's not possible for me, that's impossible. Maybe you want to be an Olympian, whatever it is, share three things of your big list, but make a big list. We're going to work with this list throughout the rest of the challenge, so go ahead and keep adding on it. That's why we have a notebook where we, we do our homework, or a pad and paper, maybe it's a, a, a binder like this where you do your homework, or, or where you do your work, but have something you know, day, day one, we talked about pen and paper. Make sure that you're writing these things down because I guarantee in 30 days, you won't remember what you were thinking about on day two and day three if you don't have at least a little note about it, which is exactly what I do. I keep little notes about it. And I do my homework in this notebook as well, and I encourage you to do the same. So that's it. That's it for today. I'm trying to keep her under 10 minutes since my last couple have been 12 or so. Have an amazing day. If I can help you, if you have any questions about this, uh, if you're struggling because you find that all you can think about is the things that you don't want, all you have to do is list those and then write the opposite of those. That's a quick trick that I learned many, many years ago about positively uh, thinking about what you want because we automatically think of what we don't want whenever anybody asks us what we do want. We want to flip that around. And so when somebody says, well, what do you want? You know exactly what you want. You can share it with them. All right. Have an amazing day. I'll be with you tomorrow.